Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sarah Gibson. I'm the school garden coordinator for Lincoln County Schools here in Oregon. And for those of you who are doing the salad in a box project, I am going to do a quick unboxing presentation for you. If you've signed up for the elective to bring home a salad in a box kit, when you pick it up from the school, it's going to look like this. So we are going to go through this step by step just to walk you through the process. The first thing you're going to find is your instructions and your selection of mixed salad greens. So we're going to put those aside. They're so tiny, we don't want to lose them. And what this includes is a mixture of gourmet salad greens. And I went ahead and listed them on your instructions. So here you go. Okay. The next thing you're going to find in your package is a box of our seed starting mixture. And you'll see I've put this in dry for you. It's about four cups capacity dry. And the first thing you're going to want to do is to place your soil mixture into a mixing bowl because we are going to add water to this and it's better not to do it in your container because I don't know if you could see the light up there, but there's holes in this. The container is going to be both the germination chamber and then when the seeds are done germinating, it's going to double as the planter. So you want to hold on to this lid because once our seeds germinate, we can use the lid to catch any water when we start watering our project. Okay, the next step in our project is to add one cup of room temperature water. And we're gonna add this to the dry soil mixture. Kinda looks like brownie batter. And we're gonna stir this all up. The key here is to get your soil damp, but not soggy. The next step is to let this soil soak up all the wa water. So what we're going to do is set a timer for three minutes and let that run. So if you look on your included instructions, in the directions for use, there's going to be a little part about um, the special project on the back page, the bonus challenge uh, garden math project that you are welcome to try. This is a little bit of advanced horticulture for you guys. And um, while your soil's saturating, you can take out your seed packet and count how many seeds are in there. And the reason we do this is explained in the seed math challenge. And um, there's a whole explanation on there about doing the germination rates. And so that is uh, just a little extra challenge for those who want it. Okay, well, it has been three minutes. Our soil mixture is ready to go into the germination chamber. So here we go. We're gonna pack this in. You could use your hands if you want. You want to pack it in. And you can do this project, and I should have mentioned it, two ways. You could either press the seeds in or reserve about a tablespoon of your soil mixture at the beginning, and you can use the dry mixer to sprinkle on the top or you can just sprinkle your seeds right onto this damp soil mixture. Seeds have different needs, and our salad mix seeds, if you notice, they're very, very, very small. And sometimes the smaller seeded varieties, they need to be exposed to daylight hours and dark hours to help them germinate. So for me, when I do salad greens, anything like this, I sprinkle them over the surface of the soil. And if I cover them at all, it's just with a tiny sprinkling of soil to hold them in place. 
So now we've got this all firmed in there. Now for the fun part, we are gonna take our tiny little seeds and remember, you may or may not have already counted these for the germination rate portion of the project, but we are going to evenly sprinkle these seeds over the surface of our soil. And this is a lot of seeds for this project. And the thing with mixed greens is that you can start harvesting when they're little for microgreens if you'd like to thin your seedlings out once they sprout. Or you can just choose to count and plant less seeds. But they're tiny, so even though it looks like just a few little seeds, it's actually quite quite a lot of little baby plants we'll be getting out of here. So now that we've got that step done, if your soil does not feel damp enough, you can at this point spray a little water on it if you've got a spray bottle. Spray bottles are my favorite indoor plant project tool because you can gently water things in without washing all the soil away. And that's especially important with tiny, tiny little seeds. So now, we are going to cover this up and put it somewhere room temperature, not in bright light yet, because we don't want this to cook like an oven. So if you just leave this somewhere where you're gonna remember it, start revisiting it in three to four days. So keep checking this in three to four days. And if you open it up and you see that seedlings have emerged, at that point, you are gonna find the brightest light in your house available put the drip tray under this and those plants will start to grow. What I have here is my indoor salad kit that I started three weeks ago. As you can see, we've got all kinds of different colors and shapes of greens in this little salad box. And this, remember, they're not growing in the soil, they're trapped in a little container. So you're gonna wanna monitor your plants and make sure the soil doesn't dry out and you can kind of check and see if it feels dry or if your plants are drooping, then they need water. But these little lettuce plants don't like to sit in soggy, soggy soil. So what I like to do is just gently water the soil. I try not to soak my plants. If you don't have a squirt bottle, you could just gently, gently pour water maybe down into the side and um, it will soak all of the soil eventually. It will absorb all of that moisture. But the key with salad greens is to water them gently. And according to our seed packet, um, these are ready to harvest between 40 and 80 days. So around four or five weeks if you want, you can um, harvest them when they're small for microgreens just to thin them out or start like I like to do and just pull off the outside leaves. And that way we're not harvesting the whole plant and it will keep producing salad for you. And these can go anywhere. They can go in a sunny window, they can go on a balcony, they can go on a porch. The more sunlight you can give them, uh, the more robust your plants are going to be. And so, for example, here's some salad greens growing in the soil and they get a lot more sun and you can see that they are stockier plants. So. Um, Luckily, these are portable and you can follow the sun around your house. All right, have a fun time with this project. If you grow out your box of greens, I would love to see a photo of how your projects turned out. So you feel free to email me and let me know how it's going or if you have any questions. Thanks, happy growing.